Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will discuss divide area network WAN. In this video, we will discuss the following topics. First of all, we will define the WAN, then the comparison between WAN and LAN, advantages and disadvantages of WANs, and at the end, we will discuss some of the WAN technologies. So let's get started. What is a WAN? So a wide area network or WAN is any network that extends over a large geographical area, usually connecting multiple local area networks. So these are two important points that the WAN extends over a large area and it usually connects multiple LANs. Here we can see in this diagram that this is, let's suppose, headquarter of a company and these are a, B, C, D are its branches. So the, all these branches have their own lands and then these lands are connected to the headquarter LAN through this WAN. So we can call this whole arrangement as a WAN because let's suppose this headquarter may be in one city and these branches may be located in different cities or maybe in the same city but far away in the form of tens of dozens of kilometers so that is what makes the van here we can see in this picture again that uh, let's suppose we have a campus land here we have a land and again we have a land here let's suppose a land in this government building and these all are connected to internet service provider ISP to each other and this whole arrangement this is known as WAN including these ISPs so in order to communicate different LANs you need a WAN this huge network that spans multiple cities or even countries is known as wide area network so what is the comparison between van and a lan these are some of the points number first is that the van covers a large geographical area while on the other hand the lan is limited to a small geographical area and number se second point is that the van connects different lands over long distances as we saw in the previous diagram that it usually connects lands but over long distances and the LAN connects peripheral devices such as computer PCs in a small geographical area the van is of course costly to set up because we have to cover huge distances we have to use different devices such as we have to use optical fiber cables routers and many more devices to set up while the LAN is low cost it, it takes very less cost as compared to when to set up you just need a switch or a hub cat 6 or cat 5 cables and here we go you form a LAN it's very easy and very uh, cheap to set up and the last point is that the routers and the OFC optical fiber cables are the backbone of the van while in LAN we have switches and Ethernet cables such as the CAT6 that form the backbone so these are some of the advantages of the van number first is that it covers huge area large area such as right now when you are watching this video on YouTube the video is shown to you from YouTube data center that is somewhere in let's suppose in another country and you are watching it from your home so this network this, this internet is also an example of when it is secured through VPN or virtual private networks so the data or the WAN is secure because we use VPNs 
and again it has centralized management and centralized infrastructure through ISPs and different organizations so it has a centralized management it has high bandwidth because we use OFC optical fiber cable and so the data speeds and data rates are very high and it is, has a sure uptime because the ISP makes sure that your internet is always running up and running because they use multiple redundant cable paths and multiple multiple devices such as routers and again there are multiple ISP so if there is problem with one ISP your traffic is routed through another ISP so there is very less downtime so these are some of the disadvantages of the vans number first is that it is costly to set up because of all the cable optical fiber cables the routers and other devices and again there may be security gaps and they may be exploited so the let's suppose in case of the internet the data is flown through different isps when you are connected to internet you are exposed to security exploitation because there are many malicious actors over the internet that can exploit your computer so so due to this reason the van requires the implementation of security solution now you may also require to set up a vpn on your pc or use a firewall antivirus these all are required to implement the security and again at the isp level the isp requires firewall to secure your connection again this has maintenance issue because it is a complex network so there may be down times maintenance down time and there may be issues with the a van network because it is huge and complex and again its troubleshooting is difficult because it is complex it has many devices and many connection so these are some of the technologies that that are used uh, inside van the foremost is the tcp ip protocol should each device including our pcs the router switches all use this tcp ip protocol they work using this protocol the van uses router as we saw uh, as in the lane we use switches and hubs the van uses router the traffic is routed through van using the router and again to secure the traffic over the van we use virtual private networks or vpns again this is a new emerging uh, technology the software defined van it is used to optimize the van traffic it has more security and it has many new features that is used in the cabinet in the combination with sdn software defined network we will cover the detail of sd van and s sdn in a separate video so that's all in today video i hope you like the video if you have you have any question regarding this video or any other question you can comment please like and subscribe for upcoming videos in my channel thank you see you soon bye bye